Hey there, welcome to ProtoLab's Design Tips. I'm Rob Young. Every day we collaborate with all sorts of engineers, designers, and companies ranging from small startups to multinational corporations. Many of them need high quality machine parts. They want to learn more about the features that you can include. That's why we created this tool. It shows off just what you can do with CNC machining for your parts. Each side of the cube features an incredible variety of possibilities. Okay, I'm betting that you want to hear about the features on each cube, so here we go. Take a look at this contoured surface. It's incredibly smooth to the touch and looks great. We use ball end mills to get that look and feel. They let us mill out just the right amount of metal to create this lofted radius. Believe it or not, we can do this with simple three axis machining. These pockets show how mills can cut into the material to create specific shapes. You can choose to chamfer the insert by adding a radius or relieve it by extending the cutter diameter beyond the corner. You can see examples of each of these methods on the cube. Check out these milling details we used to incorporate our logo and company name. We used really small, precise end mills. Here's the thing, if you're thinking of doing this, you should know that it does take time. There's no question that the effect is unique and your branding is permanent, but the time factor is something to be aware of. Another side shows off walls, bosses, and raised features. You can incorporate features with wall thicknesses of at least half a millimeter. It all comes down to the material you're using. A quick warning, the raised features you see here take a lot of time and might cost more than you want to spend on your part. Sure, they look great, but here's another idea. Use a stud or a dowel instead. Let's rotate the cube a bit to look at two sides that have some features that are simpler. These sides show holes, slots, and threads. On the threaded side, you can see counter bores, unified coarse and fine threads, and metric threads. There are also helicoil inserts, which add threading to machined holes. Holes and slots get their turn in the spotlight on the other side. There's no maximum depth for holes, but some will have a flat bottom. Really deep drill holes tend to snap drill bits, so think twice before including them in designs. When it comes to slots, remember how an end mill works. These features require side setups, which add extra cost. Instead, aim for top or bottom access. The last side explores finishes. Machined finish parts will always have sharp edges removed. You can add a protective finish, such as anodizing or chromate, and you can even laser mark your part. Bead Blast provides a softer, more pleasing look and generally is applied to the entire part. Well, that wraps it up. I hope this tour of our machining design cube was helpful. To learn more about our materials for machine parts, sign up to get one of our material selectors. These pocket-sized quick reference guides help you identify the right materials for your next project. See the info below. Thanks for joining me today and good luck with your next design project.